So in order for us to calculate how many cycles it takes for the amplitude to decay to one half its original value, we need to know the relationship between the amplitude and the energy value, which we know decays by 20.6% per cycle. And this relationship is actually given by the potential energy equation. When the spring is most compressed or most extended, then the displacement away from the equilibrium length is equal to the amplitude A. So at this point where the spring is most stretched or most compressed, the potential energy is exactly equal to 1 half times k times the amplitude squared. Now I should be careful here, the value here should not actually be k, it should be equal to 4k. So this equation should actually be equal to 2ka squared. And that's because we have four springs down here, which can be effectively treated as one spring with a spring constant of 4k, which we saw in the solution to the previous question. So now I'm going to substitute this value for potential energy, 2ka squared, and the value of, for energy in our earlier equation. And doing a little math, we get that the current amplitude squared is equal to 0.794 to the n power times the original amplitude squared. Now let's remember what we're looking for. We are looking for the amplitude a that's equal to exactly half the original amplitude. So we can substitute 1 half a0 for a here. And that gives us this equation here, and quite nicely the a0 terms cancel. And that gives us this interesting equation up here, that 1 fourth equals 0 0.794 to the n power. Now depending on how much math you've had, you may recognize that you can solve this equation by using something called a logarithm. But we don't actually have to use logarithms here. It turns out that if you go through trying different values for n, different integer values in particular, you'll find pretty soon that the solution to this equation actually is n equals 6. So this means it takes 6 cycles, 6 complete oscillations, in order for the amplitude of our spring oscillations to decay to one half their original value. Great work if you got this problem. But if you didn't, don't worry about it either. This was quite challenging.